Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a well pressure tank. These tanks eventually start leaking just like a hot water heater and need to be replaced. This job is pretty straightforward, but I would recommend that you get an early start in the day in case you need to go to the hardware store for anything. You won't have any water in your house while you're replacing the tank, so you'll want to get it done as soon as possible. Before installing the new tank, make sure it doesn't have any dents and check to make sure it has air pressure. If it doesn't have any air pressure, then they either forgot to fill it at the factory or it has some type of leak and it's defective. To check the air pressure, just remove the air valve cap on top of the tank and check it with a tire pressure gauge. This has 43 pounds of pressure, so it's good and ready to be installed. The first thing that needs to be done is we need to drain the water out of the old tank. Next, turn the electrical power off to the well. Whatever you do, make sure nobody turns the power back onto the well once you disconnect the pipes, otherwise you'll have a major flood. Next, turn some water faucets on. Once the water stops coming out of the faucets, you'll have drained most of the water out of the tank. Once the water stops coming out of the faucets, turn off the main water valve that supplies water to the house. This will allow you to remove any additional water from the tank and pipes without draining all of the pipes in the house. I'll use a bucket to collect any additional water that drains out. Now you'll need to disconnect this main water connection fitting coming out of the tank with a couple of pipe wrenches. Everything will have right hand threads, so that's righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Now we can remove the tank. So now the tank is on its side, and I'm just going to remove this one inch copper fitting. Most of these tanks will have a one and a quarter inch thread on the bottom. Notice this adapter. This is a one and a quarter inch to one inch reducer adapter. I left this old one in because I'm going to be installing a new one on the new tank. So here's my new tank. Normally from the factory there will be a plug in here to protect the threads. So you'll first need to remove that. So this is my brand new one and a quarter inch to one inch reducer adapter. I chose to get this in galvanized steel instead of black pipe so it won't rust. So what we need to do is right now we need to put some kind of sealant on the one and quarter inch threads. We can either use some kind of pipe thread compound or Teflon tape. I'm going to use the pipe thread compound. So whatever you use, make sure you put it onto the threads liberally and only on the male threads. So there's our pipe compound applied to the threads and then just go ahead and thread it in. Take your time doing this. Don't for if, if you have to force it, you've got it cross-threaded. It should just go in real smooth and easy like it is right now. And then just continue to turn that in and then we'll snug it down with a wrench. It'll help if you put your foot up against the tank. Now I'll go ahead and apply pipe thread compound to these threads. So just take your time threading the copper pipe back in. Again, putting your foot on the tank will give you some leverage. And now we're ready to hook it back up. What can really help and save a big headache in getting the tank to the proper height to make the hookup is using shims on the floor like I have here. These are all 3 8 inch thick pieces of plywood. Now just make sure when you join this union together that both of these pieces are lined up straight with each other. This is the one that you're going to have to make sure isn't either cocked to the right or left. And just take your time. Make sure you don't cross thread it. 
Next, go ahead and gently snug it back down. Next, before filling your tank with water, you need to adjust the air pressure in the tank to the proper pressure. The way to do that is you need to know at what pressure does your well turn on to start filling up your tank. My well turns on when it's 40 pounds per square inch. So I'll adjust the pressure two pounds below that. So I'll set the pounds at 38 pounds per square inch. I drained some of the air out and now it's set at 38 pounds per square inch. These tanks hold a lot of air so if you need to add air you'll want to use a portable electric air pump. Now you can turn the power back on and the tank will start filling with water. Now you can check for leaks. The tank is full and there are no leaks. Now you can slowly turn the main water valve back on and you're done. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you, and have a great day. Bye for now. Okay, Sparky, wave. <laughs>